Hey guys, it's Trace from Needless Toys here. Just wanted to go over a couple things with you real quick. One, if you saw the announcement, store number two is indeed coming. Um, we're looking at a soft opening somewhere in around two week range. We'll have more information on that. But what I want to talk to you about today, guys, is it's a product that we sell that you might not realize we sell. If you've never been here before, you think of it just as a toy store. Well, as you can obviously see, we sell comics. We sell new comics. We sell back issues, such as, well, that's just a terrible book. Uh, Batgirl. We got Batman. We have, let's see, Wolverine. We have more Wolverine. X Factor, X Men, Venom. Sorry. Let's see, there's X Men. We sell Thor. That's a lot of Thors in there. We sell Silver Surfer. So, my point is, we sell a full range of back issues. Let's fix that. And we do have key issues in what we call wall books. As you can see right up here, this is some of the books that we have. And we have a lot more. We try to be very competitive on our pricing on our books. Um, some of these are not priced yet. Trust me, there's just so much work that goes into them. It's come a long way, but we're still working on that. Uh, we've been making people deals on books ever since we opened. I know some people don't like it when we price at the register and, and we're trying to get away from that. We're trying to price everything. And the thing is, guys, say like this Deadpool 3 here is a $4 and $25. It's $4.25 and 25 cent buck. There, I can't get that out first thing in the morning. If that book shoots up to 20 bucks and we have it at $4.25, you are going to get it at $4 and 25 cents. We don't change prices at the register if something goes up. The same for our pops, action figures, and stuff like that. Whatever we have it priced at is what you're going to get it at. <laughs> Excuse me. So, and if we do catch a book, like I say, like Wolverine 101, it's not priced. We go to the register and it's showing like 20 bucks. Chances are, based off the condition of the book, you're going to get it for a whole lot less. If we have to price it at the register, then it means you guys get a discount because that takes up a little bit of time. And, well, we like to make our customers happy. Now, let's get on to the new books. We carry a full line of Marvel. As you can see, we got plenty of Marvel there. Got back issues down there. DC and Independence. Now, a lot of people have been asking for Spawn and some of the other books like that. That will be coming soon enough. Did not want to have to get Diamond going again. Can't stand them. I've had them before. Just a very, very terrible company to work with. Well, unfortunately, that's what we got to do to get Image and get Spawn. So that's what we're going to do. We're going to just swallow our pride, go ahead and get them, and be done with it. Now, the one thing I want to talk to you about with the books, we're going to start a new feature here probably next week or so where we're going to pick out the top three books or four books per publisher and push those books as the books of the week so for example this week one of the books that we would push would be this phantom star killer yeah that looks like skeletor so freaking awesome it's actually a good read another book that we'll be pushing is the batman fortnite foundation i know a lot of people's been asking for that that's a no-brainer and there's some other books like um let's find it here Somewhere over here. Yeah, there we go. DC versus Vampires. DC has been knocking it out of the park with the horror books. Such as, see if I can find some over here. Conjuring. Conjuring was good. Nice House on the Lake is really good. Let's see here. I don't see the other one. We might have actually moved those. Um... But there's a couple other DC books that are just really, really, really good. That's that's horror themed. So if you're looking for something that's not a superhero related type book, we probably could get it. We probably have it. Let's see right up here. Just trying to find it. Well, I'm not seeing. It. I think we did sell out. Hey, that's a good thing. But the one thing about our books, we want to do a subscription service. So if you subscribe to at least two, three books, you're going to get 10% off your books. Now, we're not going to just end it there. You're going to get 10% off back issues. 
you're going to get 10% off trades and you're going to get 10% off of wall books. So if we have that Spider-Man 300 you've been eyeing forever and we got, say, $600 on it, don't know the price of it, so it's just an example, you will get 10% off that. So it's not too bad a deal. Man, I didn't clean up over here good last night. So we want to take it one step further than that. If you subscribe to at least 10 books, it's going to enable you to get a discount off of selected toys. Pops, you'll get 10% off pops. You'll get 10% off of some Transformers, depending on what we have. You'll get 10% off of um, Pokemon cards. You'll get 10% off of um, select Star Wars. We'll have to be selective on it just for the simple fact that some of the merchandise we get, we only have a 10% margin. So we can't give you a 10% discount on top of a 10% margin. It just won't work. But anything that we have that we got room on, we're going to do. So we'll have more details on that soon. But, you know, let me know what you guys think about that. You know, we're, we're a toy store that sells comics and we want to give you a discount for buying books from us. Now, also, another thing is that a lot of our books are going to be bagged and boarded. Uh, it's usually goes in like a two week cycle so if a bunch of issues came out like two weeks ago those will eventually be bagged and boarded moved to back stock well obviously the bag and board is free i'm not going to charge you for that that's just silly but point is we just want to be able to offer you guys some really cool stuff and and, and some discounts you know we want to we want to reward you guys but as you can see, we're just taking a quick tour of the store. Now, she will thin out a little bit, um, obviously, because store number two is going up. We have to put merchandise in there. So these little floor stacks that you see that's going through the ceiling, well, that's probably going to go away. Yeah, we're going to get rid of the stuff here in front of the counter. We're going to we're going to thin it out. We got to put merchandise in number two. Yes, I do have some merchandise set aside for it. But it's a bigger store, so it's going to take a little bit of time. So you guys that are going to come pay us a visit when we open, listen, we appreciate it more than you know. We do not want to disappoint you. So if you stick with us, you're going to see that store grow. And before you know it, I'm going to be screaming that we need a third store because we're too full. Yeah, if I can get through the second store. But anyway, guys, just want to make this quick. I didn't want to take up too much of your time. I just want to say thank you for the support. Thank you for the love. Thank you for the visits. Even if you come in here just to say hi, you don't buy anything. You know what? That's cool. We like to see familiar faces. We like the support from the community. And we're going to keep delivering what we started here into the next store. Because Jason, he, he's been with me the whole time. He has the same ideas and views as I do when it comes to running a business, running a comic, or not a comic shop, but a toy store. So when you come in here and see what we've done, guess what? It's going to be the same way in the other store because we're one. We think the same way. We want to take care of our customers. We want to take care of the people that are making us what we are. So we're very humbled. We can't wait to see you guys. Make sure you don't forget about store number one when store number two gets rocking. And um, that's it, guys. I'll see you next week when we do our picks of the week. See ya.